Hey guys, JPC here, and I'm finally back from my video hiatus. <laughs> well, a lot happened. Like, I went back to school and all that stuff, and... But, um, I'm not here to talk about my personal life. I'm just gonna say that I'm back, and here's just a short two-minute video of a non-infected game in World at War. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? Do, did Treyarch actually fix infections? I, I don't know. <laughs> wow. Um, but if if they if they have fixed infections, congrats. <laughs> good for them and good for all of us. We can now play this great game <laughs> once again. <laughs> but um, later on this later on this video, um, you'll see a tank destruction that I did on this tank right here. <laughs> um, so I just want to tell you guys that I'm back. I will now make more commentaries and videos and such things like that. And, um, yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to you guys who have supported me, supported me this far. Uh, I checked my insights, there's been a lot of subscripts. New subscriptions and unsubscriptions. Oh, wow. <laughs> but, um, yeah, thank you guys. Uh, so, World at War. Um, I, I honestly have to say this is... Uh, compa comparing with Call of Duty 4, um, argue this is arguably one of the best. Um... It just depends on your playstyle, like if you like defensive and big maps, um, uh, um this, the place, you would, yeah, you would pick World at War over Call of Duty 4 because of, cause, because of that. If you like more CQB maps and submachine guns, uh, prefer, I prefer Call of Duty 4, but, um, yeah, I, I have mixed opinions about both. It, they're both great. But, um, yeah, that was a short tank destruction. <laughs> mm, the game is over 12 and 2. No, it's not that long. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. And bye bye.